There are few places on Earth that are closer to the stars than the High Andes. The enormous mountain range is unique, mysterious, and amazing. Almost like a universe apart on our planet. the famous peaks of Mount Fitzroy in all their glory. At the foot of the mountain lies the largest freshwater reservoir in South America, the Campo de Hielo Sur. This huge glacier area lies on the border between Chile and Argentina. Each day, the enormous ice mass of the Perito Moreno glacier creeps forward about a meter until it reaches the Lago Argentino the biggest lake in Argentina. Large chunks of ice continually break off the glacier's 60-meter-high face and plunge into the lake below. Dirt roads lead into the Andean highlands. The route winds through the mountains, penetrating dense rainforests until it reaches a fantastic place in Chile. Between the western slopes of the Andes and the Chilean coast lies the Valdivian rainforest. The dense green wilderness seems almost enchanted. As rich in species as the tropical rainforest, it's home to countless flora and fauna that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Abundant vegetation flourishes in the cool, damp climate, absorbing the frequent rainfall like a sponge. When it isn't raining, clouds of steam envelop the tree canopy. The skeins of mist rise like wraiths from the depths of the forest. Chilean poet and Nobel Prize winner Pablo Neruda once wrote, whoever does not know the Chilean forest does not know the planet. And indeed, the Valdivian rainforest is truly unique in its mysterious beauty. Fed by the moisture in the air, the plants and the earth, little brooks swell into rushing waterfalls. There are more than 700 plant species that only grow in this place on Earth. The Valdivian rainforest is one of the few rainforests outside the tropics. But even this paradise is in danger. Much of the forest has been cleared and mankind continues to plunder the rest. Oblivious to this, austral parakeets visibly relish grooming their plumage in a cool shower. 
In Europe, you'll mostly find them in cages. Here, they enjoy unbounded freedom. These mighty old trees are home to many unusual creatures. The carapace of a Darwin's beetle shimmers with all the colors of the rainbow. It uses its big mandibles to fight off its rivals. The stronger beetle wins entirely in the spirit of its namesake Charles Darwin. One of the main features of the Valdivian rainforest is its unusual trees. These Araucaria trees, for instance, can live up to 2,000 years. They are among the oldest trees on Earth. Here in the shadow of the Andes is where they originated, even though they're grown all over the world now as ornamental plants. The Chilean pine, or monkey puzzle tree as it's also known, is resilient. Its twigs are thickly covered with hard leaves, each sporting a thorn at the end. It's this resistance that makes it popular with gardeners, just like the fuchsia, which grows in its shade. The Araucaria's thick bark protects it from fire and heat. Despite the damp climate, it needs this protection as its habitat is constantly threatened by volcanic eruptions. Fire and ice, typical of the Andes. Countless volcanoes, such as the glacier-covered Villarica, are still active today. Like harbingers of hell, these geysers spew out their boiling contents into the icy air. The geysers of El Tazio lie at over 4,000 meters above sea level, on the border between Chile and Bolivia. It's anything up to minus 20 degrees centigrade here in the mornings, but the water from the underground hot springs can be around 100 degrees plus. It's a landscape that could hardly be more hostile, but one of formidable beauty. And even here, life abounds. A young vicuña stays close to its mother's side as she hunts for food near the hot springs. The vicuña's fur is even thicker than that of its close relative, the llama, and protects it from the icy cold. Humans are far more at the mercy of these extreme climatic conditions. The Andean Plateau also features saltwater lagoons that can form the backdrop to some unusual balletic performances. The Chilean flamingo rotates gracefully on its own axis, but will happily perform a pas de deux with an Andean flamingo. 
its rhythmical steps churn up the mud at the bottom of the lake, and with it, the microorganisms they feed on. Fine gill-like structures in their bills act like a sieve, filtering the flushed out microorganisms from the salt water. Nutritious brine shrimp and algae are their staple diet. And they can even drink the saline water too. Despite their delicate appearance, flamingos are extremely hardy. Even the cold climate in the Andes doesn't affect these winged dancers. The southwestern area of the central Andean highlands is extremely arid. This is where the world's largest salt flats are located, the Salar de Uyuni. Outside the rainy season, it looks like a desert made of crystals, white gold. There's up to 10 billion tons of salt stored here. Huge columnar cacti dot the isolated rocky islands in the middle of this white desert. The salt crust is up to 30 meters thick. Even the heaviest vehicles can cross the seemingly endless salt flats in safety. Four by fours are the best choice for this arduous route across the Andes. The stony roads are punishing for any vehicle. To the east of the mountain range lies the Argentinian Pampas, endless grass steps that convey a sense of isolation. This is the home of the South American grey fox. and of the Mara. Its long legs and ears make it look like a guinea pig on stilts. It's native only to Argentina. Mara breeding pairs stay together for life, unusual for mammals. The grey fox has already sensed their presence. But thirst can sometimes override caution. Maras normally stay in the shelter of the undergrowth, hidden from their enemies. But even when they're drinking, they're constantly vigilant and flee at the slightest noise. All the fox can do is look for easier prey. And the constant fight for survival continues in the shadow of the Andes. <laughs> <laughs>